Got a can on it. Got the camel tank as well. Go on, mate. Well that was novel guys, we just um, in the middle of the bush out in nowhere and uh, bump into another guy with an Africa twin Try there Looks alright, as long as we can fish. Alright guys, here we are at camp, um, we've set up camp, we didn't do nothing yesterday, um, we just set up everything, so it's now Sunday morning, um, and I'll, I'll take you around the camp now, we've set it up. Alright, first off, there's the bike, all covered up from last night, keep the dew, here's the camp, that's my tent. Sure inside, just nice easy setup. Camp bed, simple. So I'm laying. I got this little area where I just store my rubbish, bits and pieces. All my clothes are under the cover on the bike. My boots, my jacket, my top there. Yesterday we needed that out of the sun. It was 35 degrees. So we just sat under there and under this one here. Jimmy forgot his bike cover, so he sort of made do with the tarp. But then also, this is a job for us today. You see it there, Jimmy got a nice screw straight to the front of his tire. How in the middle of the bush? I don't know, but he has done. So we're going to be changing that today. That's our little kitchen set up over here. Jimmy just about to start breakfast and me and Trevor all we do is just eat it. Good morning Jim. Morning. Trevor. Morning, morning Andrew. <laughs> so obviously we get a little bit of luxury with Trevor because he brings his ute and we just pile everything on the back of there. And this is me, spend most of the weekend here. Just sitting in my chair, a little stove at the side of me, boiling coffee up, 
and this is the view we have it's absolutely beautiful you can hear the cockatoos the kookaburras the magpies everything just apart from them it's so peaceful There you go, just went quiet then so you could hear them. Trevor, your rod's gone. <laughs> Shit. You're not going to get us, Jimmy, this. Step on. Jimmy, you won't get us all. Cast over it. Bit of drama, Trevor just got to. Trevor just got a massive bite and took his rod and everything in. Was that at your... Uh... Oh, sweet cup. Yeah, but that was at your chair? No, it was on the... the rod. Oh, we've got double fishing going on. <laughs> a bit of drama there with that. No, you bugger. Get yours as well. Oh, get me a spinner. That's a spinner. I haven't even got my shorts, otherwise I'm fucking going to get yeah, mine would as well. Just cast right on top of it. It'll wrap round it then. <laughs> Just up this fish. Get a spinner on the side. Some fish. Why is he stopped there? The snag, obviously snag as well. Come and see if you get out there, go on. Let's have a get in there, mate. <laughs> you caught the wrong one. I'm going in. That's a rod, man. <laughs> This is trauma. Jimmy's actually going to go in. Oh, <laughs> Get me a towel, buddy. Oh! <laughs> we'll do this in a minute, then I'll give you the towel. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> I hope this is a big fish. <laughs> He's got it. Is it warm enough, Jim? Whoa. It's actually quite warm. <laughs> I think you. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you want it? No, you get it in, mate. It's yours. He's took you under a snag. snag. He's there as well. Go and, oh, yeah. go and swim back out. He's on. <laughs> what you need to do is find the end of the line. Oh. Oh. 
Find the end of the line, swim down. Got your rod anyway. <laughs> I just let it go. Oh well. That must have been a big fish to pull that rod over and in. <laughs> just enjoying the relaxation Christ. there. Oh well. Poor eggs, well. Steve. It's like that, so it's pulled it. Fucking yeah, he pulled it straight forward. He didn't take it sideways. I heard it rattle. <laughs> Don't pull me in, you bugger. I don't know whether you can see him. There's a little bit of wild life. Where's he gone? There he is. He's the Tiny, tiny little lizard. Well, guys, this is a camping life. Jimmy's just um, cooked up a full English. Um, I've even got avocado. How good's that? The bacon, eggs, sausage, mushrooms, beans. Mm. And quite a few flies. That's the only problem about the bush. As soon as you get your food out, flies are around. But yeah, we'll live with that. And obviously a nice brew of black strong coffee. I would say it's like home from home, but it's not. At home, I'll probably have a bowl of porridge. All right, I'm going to enjoy this. I'll leave you to it. Fantastic. Well, guys, I've had to uh, go to an emergency situation here. I've had to put bells on my rod so I can hear it because I'm not watching it because I'm bloody helping Jimmy do his tyre. Fender item is, there you go. In the bush. Tell me who drops Phillips screws in the bush, please. <laughs> please. There you go. Oh, look at the size of it as well, you're kidding me. That's just about caught you're that up. kidding. I reckon that's one of Trevor's, you know, from his cabinets. That's Trevor's. Has it come off the back of his shoes? Yeah. When Trevor! Get over here. <laughs> What's this? Trevor's to blame. Oh, no, I think. <laughs> that must have, look at it, it's in the diamond pattern of the treads, which that's, is the thickest point. You know what it might have been? The terrain. Is that's an inch through. screw. You know those little screws that go in the inch yeah. cupboard doors? It's one of them. It's for the door in the screw. There you go, you may have that back, sir. No, that's too big for the inch screw. Mm. You wouldn't put into something that makes it be too small. Oh, okay, let you off. He's denying all, denying it all, mate. Yeah, right, let's get his kit back together. Yeah, don't mix mine up. No, I won't. Oh, that's what they were for. No, it's in case you lose them inside. Anyway. Yeah, it's only the first part with the pressure. Yeah. Okay. Now then. See, turn your stand your wheel up, turn it fully towards you. <laughs> oh, right, do you think you'll find this all? Yeah, blow it up, put it in the water. Oh, 
I'm going in the river after this, mate. Yeah. Fancy a swim? Yeah. Now I know it's deep there, mate, I could dive in. No, don't dive, it goes shallow then, do you? Oh. All right, then we need a compressor. What you got? Yeah? Yeah. Thank God you're here, man. <laughs> Christ. Now, I'm going to have to start my bike up. Put your throat of back in. Pop it off and put it in the water. That's a new slurry then. Probably. Hold on a minute. There. Right there. For sure. Not sure if you can start it. Just sit right on the scene. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would have took a bit of time to go down, but the screw's still there, actually, imagine. Yeah. I don't think we'll have any problem with the glue drying in this weather, mate. No, 100%. Okay. Let it down. Here you go, bike fixed. <laughs> We're disturbing the campsite, and it's absolutely beautiful. We've got sun blazing, 36 degrees out here. We're absolutely cooking. Um, 39. Oh, the bike just said to Jim, it's 39. Trevor's over there having a kip. He's just beat from catching all these fish. As you can see, we're right in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful, beautiful spot. So quiet. We got invaded last night by wild horses. Um, yeah, they, they, they do worry you a little bit. Um, try and shoo them off because obviously if they trip over guide ropes and things like that, they just go frantic and before you know it, you've been trampled to death in your tent. Um, yeah, they, they tend, to, tend to stay away from you, but... Yeah, we don't want them. Just come across this dead tree, and uh, we're gonna have a fire tonight. So, so I'd cut a bit of firewood. Got the old silky gun boy head. Morning. It was a warm night. Um, we went cold about 3 a.m. I woke up, I was lying on top of the sleeping bag and then woke up cold, so I got in the sleeping bag and uh, yeah, nice comfy night. Um, woke up a couple of times. Um, we had some horses, wild horses coming around again. Um, yeah, but that was quite a way off this time. But yeah, I'm going to get up, I'm going to make myself a nice coffee, come and join me.
water on the boil. Why the water's boiling. Right, ground coffee. Nice, strong, heaped ground coffee. French press. So I got my ground coffee in there, French press, just wait for my water to boil. Get my coffee on the go. Alright guys, my water's boiling. Turn that off. All I do is I pour a little bit into my mug first, being steel, just to warm it up. And then tip that onto the actual coffee so it doesn't burn the coffee with the boiling water. That in, let it brew. Plunge it down. Cheers. <sighs> Just what you need. Fishing time. Decent fish. I think I've just lost him under a snake. No, he's out. Ah! First carp. There we go. Unfortunately in Australia carp are vermin, they're like rats and they're polluting the water so we have to get rid of them. So these go on the bank to die and over night time probably a fox will take it and yeah. So just moves on. Fantastic guys, another weekend over, long weekend. We've had four days here, just about to pack it all up, um, put it on the bike. I'll run you through it, I'll speed it up so you don't get bored, and then I'll catch you at the end.
Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. If you want to. Oh. Yeah, I just walk to the edge here. Just show you this view before we go. We're just just talking to a guy who said that the um, the river was 2,000 kilometres long, which is amazing when you think about it. <laughs> ah, go on, I'm going to strap up. Go on, mate. I just. I was just talking to Jimmy in on the headset and he's in front and obviously he just said to me that not only would we got bloody all this wildlife running in front of us, we've had three lots of kangaroos, uh, the emus turned and went the other way, but um, yeah, it, uh, it certainly makes you think on what you're riding and where you're going and food for thought. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, we just um, exited the forest. Let me just look at my clock. We've been riding on this for 47 minutes. Um, yeah, standing up. Uh, it's been a bit of fun, but we're finally out onto some, I wouldn't say tarmac, but we're out of the forest. 
Um, yeah, go along here and then we'll be sitting down and um, relaxing on the way back. Feels weird sitting down now. <laughs> Yeah. It's because you can go in back home. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you got no chance. You got the idea of what you broke up. Yeah. All right, guys, just pulled up, um, parked the bike, just gone across the road there to the cafe, had some nice food, just about to get back on the bikes and head out. Um, yeah, bike needs a good wash, but yeah, all good. There you go, guys. Just got home. As I say, the bike's absolutely filthy, covered in dust. Even myself, I'm inside my helmet, it's caked inside here of all dirt and dust. Um, I'm going to have a shower and a shave. And yeah, river water's not the best for you, but anyway, it was great. Another adventure. Thanks for watching.